house is currently very noisy a little bit chaotic the garden renovations have started so there's a lot of chainsawing going on right now and i'm pretty sure the digger is about to be brought in so ryan and i are in the car good morning morning good morning um and we thought that we would pop into town run a few errands i'm gonna bring you shopping with me i'm gonna get some lunch basically get away from the chaos of my house I haven't been shopping in a little while in person so uh i'm very much looking forward to this i've got a few beauty bits that i need to pick up as well so let's do it Boyfriend does my Zara haul for me. <laughs> this isn't part of the haul. <laughs> when we get home, he's gonna pick some things out for me. I'm excited. How excited are you? So excited. I'm taking it inspo. No. <laughs> he's watching me shop. This is gonna be interesting. So, Zara has a lot of good things at the moment. I actually recently just ordered a load of basics, but there were some things that weren't in stock, and I've just picked them up, and I'm so excited. There's also some bits I didn't see on the website. I cannot wait for them to arrive. They are so cute. Really tempted to buy these. Got distracted by car fresheners mostly though. Love the look of this rug. Just don't know where I put it. I don't have the right tool shape for that. They have my white off shoulder top in H&M in Brighton if anyone wants it. Ryan, you did so much shopping. All for me. It is, in fact, all for me. I'm so done. You know I'm done when my hair goes up. Is it like a little, what's the thing on the Grinch? Minion. Oh, we need to go home. We need to go home. back i thought i would quickly run you through a few of the bits that i bought in town but i think i'm gonna leave this um stuff from zara until tomorrow when i'm back home just because i'll have access to a full length mirror and my hair won't look like this yeah that's what i currently look like so i'll take you through the rest of this i popped into zara home um just have a look at some things i'd actually already ordered because i just wanted to <laughs> double check you know when you're ordering online and you're just not sure um but everything was looking pretty good um but i picked up this this is a diffuser and it's a linen fragrance which is gonna be so nice i love linen scents and some of them are just a little bit too strong for me that i have in my like drawer of fragrances at the moment so i thought i'd get something that's a little bit more fresh and a bit more summer appropriate the zara home fragrances are always so strong as well so take note put them in a big room do not put them in a small room um i also picked up two of these these are the car fragrances so ryan got a new car so i picked up one for him and one for me and i'm very happy because the one he chose was the one that i liked slightly less so winning i went to boots i actually needed some clinique take the day off cleansing oil but they didn't have it they literally didn't have it anywhere and it's out of stock on the website so um i have ordered it off look fantastic just really wanted to pick it up when i was in town and save myself the cardboard but can't win them all but what i did get were these which i've been trying to find for so long the smell guys of the hair mask is just incredible um so i want to smell like that all the time and when i saw they were doing a shampoo and conditioner i was like i need that I need that. So yeah, 
I'm gonna let you know how I get on with these, but these are, oh, they're, I've, I've been dying to get my hands on these. I'm so happy with them. Fenty Beauty, what it do, uh, setting spray. I have this in the mini and I was trying it out and I love it. So I have the full size. Oh my goodness, yay, so, so happy. I don't know why I'm putting it back in the box because I'm just gonna use it tomorrow morning, but there we are. Did anyone else always used to do that with like expensive products? You'd like keep them in the box for like a week or so. Um, just me? Okay. And then I went into HomeSense and got zero like home interiors related things, but look at these syrups they had. They could be awful, but I couldn't resist. Um, and this is slightly excessive given the size of them um, and the amount I bought of them, but white chocolate. Yes, that looks so good. So we've got caramel chocolate truffle. Oh, um, we have schmores. Oh my goodness. Oh. Anyone that knows me well knows that for a long time the Schmores um, Starbucks drink that they used to do was like my go-to. And then finally, I can't wait to try this. Glazed donut. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh my God. So that is everything non-fashion related that I bought. I will be back with you tomorrow because right now me and my little turnip head are going to go and check on my back garden because uh the digger has been in today so i just can't wait to see the level of destruction that has gone on in my back garden um and <laughs> i'm scared so i'm gonna go check up on that um and i'll be back with you in the morning and we will go through the zara stuff there is lots more zara stuff coming your way by the way subscribe if you haven't watched my videos before um i love zara <laughs> if you didn't know it's around that time of year where there's just a lot of a lot of good things and yeah but anyway um yeah i'm tired so i'm gonna go and like recharge town was a lot i don't know if it's the weather but having the mask on my face just was a bit more overwhelming this time than the last time i went in um and my mask just wouldn't sit right on my face which is very frustrating side note i'm actually quite happy with how my makeup held up under the mask uh yeah i'm very, actually very very surprised but yeah it town was very crazy lots of one-way systems that were just being ignored and if i'm honest i don't think i want to repeat the experience again anytime soon i think i'll go in to town to um like shop in like smaller shops like little local shops and like small like restaurants and stuff like that that i'm so happy to do because it all just like makes sense and flows really nicely but oh my god like the actual like mall areas in the high street was just a bit <clears throat> I also popped into H&M as well. I can't remember if I showed you. Oh yeah, I think I did. Um, because the white off shoulder top that I have is in the Western Road, Brighton, uh, in the back section to the, my right, back section on the right. But yeah, there wasn't a load of stuff in there that I was like loving. There was one blue dress that I'd seen on the website and I know they have it in other H&Ms, but they didn't have it and I was very sad. I didn't, did not love H&M love zara it's such a different shopping experience in there to everywhere else that i have been into no queues which i had to queue for both h&m's um i don't know if it's because zara is more spread out and there's multiple floors but it was just a much nicer shopping experience than a lot of the other stores it makes it quite a difference to the uh, zara website which is just mostly women standing on their cookers really isn't it okay i'm gonna go i will see you tomorrow bye good morning everybody i thought i would show you quickly the bits that I picked up from Zara. A lot of basics, basically. This is part of a set that I picked up. Um, I just love Zara for basics, so you guys will know this. And I'm gonna say this a lot, I think over the next mo month or so, but I do feel like around the summer to autumn transitional time, Zara come up with the best, best basics. And there are a few things I've been loving recently um, from Zara that I wanted to kind of pick up repeats of, which is normally my number one, like, don't do it rule. Um, but I'm, I'm making a kind of exception for basics because you just wear them all the time. And there's one body in particular, which this is what got me started. I've worn it so much and it's like the perfect cut and feels really flattering, it's really light. But because of that, it's been in the wash a lot and I've wanted to wear it so much. And I was like, do you know what? I just need this body in maybe more colors. Um, 
maybe the same color i didn't really know but it was in stock in um the brighton zara and i just couldn't resist side note ryan has actually like fully has agreed and is really excited about doing a boyfriend does my zara um order and i'm so excited he's <laughs> he is actually like properly plotting the whole thing and it makes me really happy i think it's going to be so much fun um and he was literally like watching me shop when we were in zara in brighton it was so funny yeah i picked the body up in the black so it's like a ribbed body i don't think you're going to be able to see on the black one um i got both of these in a small but i picked up the teal is it a teal color lovely little teal color and i wasn't sure on this color to begin with because i was like oh is it going to be a bit too like grazy toned is it going to wash me out but the um like what do you call it it's like a dusky rose color that i have is a little bit grazy too like just that kind of um more muted tone and i originally thought that those tones would wash me out the other one proved to just be such a gem in my wardrobe and it looks really nice with my skin tone so i thought i'd give the teal one a go i think it was a good shout i think it will suit me hopefully you'd hope yeah so i've got the black one as well the black one will just be an absolute gem in my wardrobe i know that for sure and then because i like the um sorry i don't know if you can hear there's a lot of background noise um like i said yesterday um to you guys the garden is being redone and there's a lot of like scraping and drilling and all of that going on at the moment but anyway um yeah so because i love the color of the original body so much i actually picked up this rib uh, kind of high neck crop which I thought would look really cute. Basically, all of these things look great with like jeans and stuff like that, but they also look amazing if you want to pair them with trackies and look like that comfy kind of chic, which is my favourite. Um, it almost like makes it look like you're not wearing trackies if you've got a kind of nice but not too nice top on top, you know? Like it's just a very casual but smart top, if that makes sense. Like I don't need to wear anything like floaty or blousy or, you know, that's too much, but just like a really nice structured body or crop or even like long sleeve something that's like really nice and like fits really well i always just find really helps to elevate very casual clothes so it works for me really well because all my jeans are baggy anyway so stuff like this works a treat because i like to be more fitted on top like i love an oversized white shirt and my like baggy jeans but i also love a more fitted look on top i think it helps to um balance out the silhouette and it does the same for trackies as well this system just works really well for me because it's very rare that i wear something fitted on the bottom apart from hold please cycle shorts which you guys will know i love and i know not everyone loves them if you're not into that sports luxy kind of style um if you prefer like floaty kind of boho -y style um i flip between the two which i think is probably the most jarring two styles to flip between but i just i love like that sports luxy like comfy kind of feel they do them in so many colors as well so many colors and they do them in long leggings and i'm so tempted by the green set but just not like i wasn't like quite there with like committing it was a bold choice um and i wasn't feeling particularly bold yesterday as you can tell by my very safe choices of zara purchases i have actually done another order there are a few videos coming up like some fun videos that i've got for you guys and there are some more actual like clothing items in that if that is something that you are looking for but yeah this is just some stuff that i saw that i really wanted to pick up and it just doesn't seem to be in stock in my size all the time when i ever go on zara but anyway I picked up this body no straps it's literally the exact same i think as the one i'm wearing um maybe slightly i feel like the ribbed um effect on it i don't know if you're gonna be able to see this i think the rib is slightly wider yeah i'm gonna say the rib is slightly wider god i probably just gave myself the most horrific double chin then but i really like these because they're quite thick i mean the white is probably always going to show my nipples through them because they just like to let you know that they exist um but it's also got the kind of like rubber uh, lining at the top which stops it slipping down and i really really like that um i do feel like my boobs just don't fill it as well as like maybe some other people's boobs do but yeah that's life so yeah i picked up the white the white i will wear so much it will look beautiful with like my baggy like mom jeans my favorite ones are my new in mom jeans so i'll maybe like show you in the try on i'll show you them together um but i also think it would look beautiful with a pair of like black tailored trousers and look really smart but like comfy and really easy and 
simple at the same time and I just really like it. I think it'll be a really classic look. I got the grey cycle shorts, which the only thing I would say about these is that the waistband is super tight, so it does suck you in, which some people might love and some people might not. I do feel like because I curve, so like, I, I curve a lot. Like my waist goes in a lot and it kind of like exaggerates that even more. Um, and I don't, I don't know, it's just not something I'm used to seeing. So I don't know how I feel about that. But it's just really, it's a really nice like comfy around the house kind of outfit. If, if I had this in black, like a full set in black, I would definitely wear it out the house a lot. I think the grey just kind of lends it more to being an at home vibe. And then finally got these trousers which i'm really hoping the leg length is okay i am hoping that i can just roll them up potentially maybe not um i'm not sure how easy they would be to take up actually maybe they could be taken up i might have them taken up because i feel like these would just be gorgeous to have in my lounge wear wardrobe um but yeah they're the same like ribbed material I'm, I've not been doing anything groundbreaking on this shop, but then I also picked up the body that matches it, which is also ribbed. The only thing I would say about this is, is it's not as structured as um, these bodies that I picked up. Like I love the structure of these. It is perfect for like, I think any shape. The material on this one feels much thinner. Um, so I'm not sure if this would be like as flattering. We will see how we go. That is what I picked up from Zara. So I will show you what those items look like on now so this is the black body i love these i just think they're a really lovely cut and they feel so structured like i feel really secure in them not as secure as in the um higher necked like racer cut black bodies but as far as bodies go i always feel really really like comfortable in these and not like it's too loose like i feel kind of like well held in if I kind of like jiggle about a little bit. So I've just paired these with my little Zara nudie pink tracky bottoms. These would also look amazing with jeans as well though. Um, I'll link these by the way if uh, they are still available. I'm not sure if they are. Now I'll show you the blue. No. Ta -da! You can tell I spend too much time uh, making TikTok videos because I immediately want to do that and do a transition, but I'll spare you. This is the teal body. I don't love it with these tracky bottoms. I actually need to get the perfect like pair of black tracky bottoms because these ones are just a bit the crutch is really low on them and that they're, they're basically they're made for a tall human yeah this is what the blue rib is looking like i think you will have seen the dusky kind of like pink color that i have in my ikea uh haul and hair reveal video i'll pop that somewhere up here yeah let me know which is your fave black dusky pink or teal and this is the uh little gray cord. some people might love it some people might not i think it's very like a niche look basically let me know what you think in the comments but yeah for me this is definitely more of an at home kind of vibe but it's cute i just wish that the waistband wasn't so extreme because if you are bloated it just kind of makes you like let me show you it's annoying that it's so thickly structured here and then not at all here and it really does accentuate um, a food baby so if you are prone to food babies this is definitely not a leaving the house kind of outfit so this is the body it's a little bit see-through which i don't really understand how brands let this happen because surely this is a problem that every woman is gonna have it will never make sense to me anyway i have paired it with the new in mom jeans which are my current favorite pair of jeans they're very high-waisted i pull them in with a belt just to give them like that tiny bit like they're really great because they go tighter at the waist and way way baggier over the hip it is beautiful i wear a waist 28 um but i do just like to give it that like extra bit of like tightness and really cinch it into the waist so that it gives that real like vintage kind of old jean effect and i love it with this body as well i think it looks really cool and just for reference here is the strapless body with the tailored trousers that i mentioned um when i was sitting down with you guys uh these are really old from Topshop, but they always kind of bring them back out in various different styles and zara do loads of similar pairs as well all you need to type in is like black cigarette trousers and they'll come up yeah love this it is going to need a strapless bra though 100 percent. so this is the high neck a uh, little crop top i love this i think it's a really nice option to have for those of you who don't like 
uh, wearing a body, it's still the ribs material, it's in a nice high neck, it still tucks really, really nicely. I do think this kind of like cinched in shoulder cut, is that what you call it, like a shoulder cut? I just think it's so flattering, it really like cinches this part of your body in and if you have wide shoulders like i have wide shoulders um it is just an absolute dream i'm definitely a fan of this and i'm not always like the biggest fan of um, a high neck but i do think this is like low enough and tight enough that it's really flattering and combined with the cut here it just it just looks nice it's flattering i don't feel like a floating head i really don't like it when high necks come up too high i just feel like a floating head i want to love this set on camera it looks worse than in real life but it's fine because this is not a keeper anyway so the body is great it is thinner but it has um what the other bodies don't have which is the uh kind of like popper bits Done. it also has a really lovely scooped back but very thick seams here and with the trousers you can just see right through it and these are meant to be a set and if i was making these and testing these out i would be sending the model straight back being like no turn around we're going back to the factory because these two don't work well together. They're also very long on me, which is not shocking because I don't have a lot of height to me. Even with my um, sliders on, which tend to give me like a little bit more height, they're still dragging on the floor, which is not ideal. I love from the front, when I look at myself in the mirror, not when you guys see me on camera, I might feel different when I'm editing this, but I like the shape it creates and I really like the fit on the legs. I think it's really nice to have like a leg that is kind of like a little bit more fitted, but then flowy further down. I think it's very flattering. But that's about the only pro that I can find from the trousers. I do love the ribbed set. I think it's so, so nice. But um, yeah, sadly, that is some serious VPL. Yeah, not loving, but would love to know. Do you have this set? Do you like it? Would you buy this set? Very interested to know, like, would the VPL annoy you? Because I know it would for sure annoy me. And then finally, we have the ribbed cycle shorts. I love these. They are so soft. Like, the bodies, the ribbed bodies are super soft anyway. And they all have this, like, brushed uh, lining on the inside, which just makes them feel amazing to wear. I'm wearing the body that matches with it, and it's just, like, the best combo. I would definitely say that the waistband on this is m less stiff and like thick so yeah these are definitely the comfier pair i would be getting a lot of wear out of these also update on my syrups these ones are so so gorgeous this one in particular i am obsessed with this one's like my second favorite that one's my third favorite this one is disgusting i'm so confused as to how a glazed donut should taste like basically like apple or orange juice it's really weird i do not understand but these ones are absolutely glorious and they're not like some of the ones that you get. Like there's a certain brand, I can't remember what they're called, but I see them in a lot of coffee shops and they do like amazing flavours like fudge and oh, so good. But you literally need to use like half a bottle to get them to actually like taste like anything. And most coffee shops literally use like the tiniest amount. Luckily my local coffee shop is like, that won't be strong enough, here's half the bottle in your coffee. You can all make up your own minds about whether that's okay or not, but this didn't take a lot this morning to get a good like strong flavor in it. So super happy with that. And the linen diffuser is lovely. It's like the perfect mix of like floral and linen and it's really like, sweet but fresh i'm gonna wrap this video up here i hope you guys have enjoyed it let me know what your favorite things were and we'll be back with you very soon to update you on all of my home updates because i've got a few bits to show you guys i'm literally going to pick up the camera straight away and start a new video so i hope you're looking forward to that and i'll see you guys again on monday bye